Good morning guys, welcome to a brand new day where anything can happen and dreams can come true. We, it is such a nice day out today, minus four degrees, not minus 20, minus four it is amazing. We're headed down to feed our babies and see them. Um, we're a little late today, actually we're just on time. I forgot to make beet pulp last night. Ugh. I was like in the middle of the night. Oh my gosh, I forgot to make it. But did you guys know if you use boiled water on beet pulp, it speeds up the processing time so much faster. Just the same as oatmeal. That was really good, Willow. You're not the boss of this place, but she she's all talk. Yeah, she's all talk. She she bows down to to Stella. Anyway, we've been putting the hay uh, the last few days in the arena just because the horses seem to prefer the footing in here to the ice, and um, I'm all about that. If they want to eat go in here, out when it's like sunny and especially once it gets if it warmer. Rains. So we do have treats at our house now. We're just using these ones. Let's see. The normal kind that yeah, and they'll be broken in half, little tiny biscuits uh, for for uh, Willow just to train her. Um, I know she does; she can gain weight really quickly, so we're so gonna guys, be really careful about that. That's how yeah, tiny they're gonna be. Yeah, yeah um, very, very tiny. just for bonding and just to get her like where she trusts so us more and stuff. And later for training. today, I'm going to lunge Willow. So and people I'm, are saying I'm gonna use Willow treats. Has to smile. Some people are like, stop it! Lunch her, but we want a lot from Willow. We don't just want her to be a companion. We want her to do tricks and learn to be really close we want with us. Her to be really close to me. Sophie's thinking about doing some shows with her and yeah, and like there's it. some and uh, like, yeah. If we if she's uh, good enough to let us like put Brooklyn on her, we could do the shows like my first ever show. Yeah, she's big enough um, that Brooklyn or Jacob could ride her. There's a class where like it's all tiny ponies and then there's little riders. Yeah, so I don't know, that would have around. to that would have to happen after like a lot of um a lot of bonding. Training, training. too. She need to be trained and stuff. But she also knows how to pull a cart and we are definitely interested in getting her to pull a cart. So we need lots of groundwork, lots of training. Still finding right. our way. That's what it's all about though, you guys. It's all about finding your way and uh, and figuring them out and them figuring us out. Somebody, a couple of people were saying it's so good for my kids to be learning responsibility and all that kind of stuff by having the horses home and it is, it did accelerate the whole responsibility process by 100%. Um, so many things, like I just gave the girls a choice. Uh, you can either both muck out a stall or clean the poop in the arena and the outside. And they both said, we'll muck stalls, and they're happy to do it. Oh, hi, 
pretty girl. Oh, super funny story. A uh, uh, couple of nights ago, I was uh, reading in my bed and I had Levi on the bed with me and he just runs around and makes a crazy fool of himself. I had the cat on one end of the bed just snoozing. <laughs> Levi on the other bed, on the other side of the bed, staring at the cat. The cat sleeping with one eye open on the bird because she knows the bird's gonna try and attack her. Levi's looking, and I'm getting ready to lift my leg up to keep him from attacking the cat. All of a sudden, the cat's like, "I'm getting the heck out of here!" Runs to the end of the bed, jumps down, goes underneath the bed, and out of the room. Levi, being so shocked that that his prey just disappeared, runs to the end of the bed, looks over on the ground, sees that the cat is completely disappeared, blows his mind that she could just disappear in midair, and starts screaming. He just like looks down, and all of a sudden his wings come up, his crest comes up, and he's like, ah, ah! He starts running back and forth on the end of the bed, like, what is happening to the world? The cat just disappeared, and oh my gosh. I never laughed so hard in my life. Like he was losing his mind that the cat disappeared. I love to smile. Did you? One of the weird things about um, having horses at home. Wow, Gabby just emptied this, and then she took this much shavings out of Stella's yeah, little stove. Yeah, she's a messy like, girl. For this whole half, it was all dirty. Yeah. Um. One of the weird things about having horses at home, like I used to be like, I would never go down and pick up poop, especially with my hand, and I do that now. Um, once yeah, you get down here, yeah, once you get down here and you start working, you get this amazing rush of adrenaline and happiness. Like you just get so happy and relaxed and it just makes you feel good. It's like a feel good. Like it's except just. Except for when you think about it, you still have to do school up. Yeah, except for when you think about the fact that you still have school. <laughs> Then it ruins all the happiness, right, Gabby? Yeah. All right, let's get this barn cleaned up. I dropped horse treats. Did you finish oh, yeah. Stella's Ruby Heath horse treats? Did you clean uh, Willow's stall? Yes. It's all done. All right, you guys, let's do the test. Let's do the the. Not the best, but it's pretty good. A little bit of poop still in there, but I mean, it's hard to pick up that little tiny pellets. It's like rabbit pellets. Good job, since her, her water is empty and Here's her hay is gone. Like there's no shavings in this stall it's weird I don't understand it but there's like a lot of shavings in this stall she has at least three bags every all the time in her in her stall yeah it just looks empty because the stuff on the bottom is like not perfectly White. light colored it makes it look flattened down or something I don't know one weird thing is we never use Storm's buckets. Like even though we are struggling with our buckets because they we always freeze. We are not freeze, using those. Yeah, we never use them. It's like an unwritten rule. Like nobody's even ever suggested using them because they're Storm's Dad and has. we don't want to use them. Dad has? Yeah, Dad. Dad will drink out of any. Yeah, those are Storm's buckets water. and nobody's using them until he comes home, huh? Yeah. Storm, all his life, has been taken from show to show to place to place. He, like, has gone everywhere. So, he, so he, he's trained to drink water out of anything. Yeah, he's trained to go travel. So he's a traveling man, so he doesn't care about stuff. He loves to travel. Yeah. He rushes out of the trailer. And at Sophia's ninth birthday party video, put the eye card here. Dad. Um, he, you can see him smush me. To try and rush out of the trailer. Yeah, he smushed her. Like, could you imagine? He smushed her. Into the wall. Yeah, that's crazy. I think like right. Yeah, you got push. dragged. You got like smushed. Push. Life with horses. Horses. Hashtag life with horses. Dragging and smushing and poop. Oh my. <laughs> Um, 
some of you guys think that we only have three stalls, enough room for three horses. We actually have four stalls. We always joke that we have three stalls for horses. I never joke. And then another stall just for our jump because we love our jump so much. Um, this stall is completely unprepared for horses. Uh, we still have this hay, our grain hay thing. Uh, we hay use it feeder. to store, yeah, hay feeder. We use it to store all of our stuff. And so all of our twine, our knives, our scissors, all the stuff we use like right here in the barn. And jump cups. It'll all change. And jump. Our jumps. We have two different kinds of jumps now. That kind and that, and that kind. And some mats. So like, we're. It seems like we're so stuck because it's winter and we can't do anything. But eventually, like all summer and all spring and all summer, we'll be like making this barn totally usable. And all the property, like all the landscaping around here, is all going to be done this spring. And we're going to have grass and we're going to have bigger paddocks. And I definitely feel bad for our horses, even though it's good for Stella to be in like a small area right now. And uh, Willow can handle a small area because she's small. Um, I want them to have big, like lots to go and run and play and do whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. Lots of things that we're going to be doing. Things are going to be changing once the summer comes. But in the winter, you just feel stuck. Like, we just feel stuck. It feels so good today, though, because it's warm. It's minus five degrees and it feels like spring. It feels amazing. So barn is done for the morning. Horses are mostly done with their breakfast. Well, not done. We don't want them to eat it all anyway. So we're gonna take them for a little walk. And we're off. I got my own little dog. Don't pull me on the ice. another gate into this property and we can go out this way and not have to go on a busy road. When I feel worn out, tired and alone, and every minute passes into the unknown, you bring me comfort like nobody can. I hear you Life has only just begun, so I hope. Who knew Stella was so adventurous? Don't you want to go that way? We're trying to turn her around and go home, and she's like, "I'm not going home." Now let's see if Willow will. Willow will just follow Stella. Stella, Willow's like, she? yeah, she doesn't. She wants to go where she wants to go. Here go. No, we're going home. We have school. No, let's go. We walked a long way already. Slow and steady. So I hold out hope to be stronger than forever when it's you and me together. Cause I never lost my faith in you. Every time when I felt you would pull me through. Yes, I never lost my faith. Literally the most incredible thing I've done in a long time. Like dreams, you guys. That is what dreams are made of. Oh, I never lost my faith in you. When I feel broken from every little wound, you remind me all oh, that we are not consumed. There will be moments when I'm drifting away into the darkness, but you will lead the way. So I hold out hope to be stronger than forever when it's you and me together. Cause I never lost my faith in you.
and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.